This is Simran and welcome back to Food Utopia. Today we will be making dum aloo. This is a pretty popular dish and it has many flavors because of all of the spices that we add. So without further ado, let's get cooking. To make this recipe, we will need 750 grams of baby potatoes that are washed, two medium tomatoes that are grated, one and a half tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, two medium onions that are finely chopped, three green chilies that are finely chopped, two tablespoons of oil, one tablespoon of cumin seeds or jeera, one large cardamom, two small cardamom, one inch of a cinnamon stick, four to five cloves, two bay leaves, some salt as per your taste, one teaspoon of red chili powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi, four tablespoons of plain yogurt, make sure that the yogurt is not too sour, two tablespoons of chickpea flour or besan, one teaspoon of garam masala, one tablespoon of paprika, two tablespoons of coriander powder or dhania powder, one teaspoon of kasuri methi or dried fenugreek leaves. If you would like, you can also add some damalu masala. The first thing you will do is take a large pot of water on high heat and wait until it comes to a boil. Once the water comes to a boil, we will add in the baby potatoes. Then we will cover the pot with a lid and let the potatoes boil in the water for around 5 minutes. Once the potatoes are done, you will drain the water out of them. Once the potatoes have cooled, we will prick some holes in them. This is so that when we put it in the curry, it will absorb all of the masalas and this will result in more flavorful potatoes. Then you will take a large pot on medium heat and wait for it to get heated. Once the pot has heated, we will add in the oil and wait for that to get heated as well. Once the oil is heated, we will add in the cumin seeds or jeera then we will cook this for around 1 minute. And then we will add in the large cardamom, the small cardamom, the cinnamon stick, the cloves, and the bay leaves. We will mix these together and cook these for around 1 minute. You might want to turn the heat to low because you do not want the cumin seeds to burn. We'll add in the onions and the green chili. We'll give this a mix and cook it until the onions are golden brown. If you, want, you can also put on the lid to help the onions cook faster. Once the onions are cooked, you will add in the ginger garlic paste, mix this together, and cook this for one minute. To know if the potatoes are done, you will take a knife, put it in one of the potatoes, and then if it goes through, that means it is soft. Your potatoes are done. And you will add in the tomatoes, and salt as per your taste. The salt really helps in letting the tomatoes cook faster. Then you will cook the tomatoes for around 3 more minutes. Then we will add in the paprika, the red chili powder, the turmeric powder or haldi, and the coriander powder or dhania powder. 
We will give this a good mix. And we will cook this for around 2 minutes. If it is sticking to the bottom at this point, we will add around 2 tablespoons of water. And mix this together. At this point, you can also add the damalu masala if you like. Then we will add in the chickpea flour or basin. Give this a mix. And then we will cook this for around 1 to 2 minutes. Before we add in the yogurt, we will whisk it for around 10 to 15 seconds so that it is not too thick. Once you have whisked the yogurt, you will add it in to the pot. Make sure that the pot is on low heat or you can just turn the heat off. And then we will mix this together really well. And cook it for around 1 to 2 minutes. Now we will add in some water. I am adding in 1 cup of water. But if you like your gravy more thick, you can add in less water. And then you will mix this and cook it for around 1 minute. You can give the gravy a taste and see if it needs any salt or spices. Then we will add in the baby potatoes and then we will mix these together and we will let them cook for around 1 to 2 minutes. We will add in the dried fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi and the garam masala. We will give this a good mix and then you will turn off the heat and if you would like you can add in some chopped cilantro. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Tell me how you liked it in the comments below. If you would like the full recipe it will be down in the description box. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell icon to get updates on all my new videos. See you in the next video!